Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I got this awesome comment from Charles Grimes asking if I can review Fort Lauderdale Broward area. And of course I will. Guys, if you want me to review a specific city or, uh, or a house even, or it could be anywhere in the world, just go ahead, comment down below. I will jump in, I will do the research and we'll have fun and uh, I'll make you a video. So before I jump real quick into Zillow, I wanna just jump over to the Redfin Weekly Housing Market data. I have it set to Fort Lauderdale metro area. And you know, if you look at this chart, this is basically when, okay, what's interesting is that the most of the United States started going down around here, like in June, right? And but Broward actually started going up, up and up. And then it wasn't until the feds raised the rates like they had the, the feds raised the rates and then they dropped them and then they went back up again. And I think that the second when they, they went up the second time is when this is when we started seeing this big drop. Here's the problem, right? The, pro, the biggest problem is that the it, uh, the inflation report came out and it's basically awful right and now the feds are pretty screwed and they're going to keep raising rates which means bank mortgage banking is going to have to raise their rates and right now we're, what we're not seeing is the effect of what happened basically today and we jump over to fortune.com mortgage rates hit 6.3 percent and the real cost of buying a house has officially spiked over 50 percent in the last six months so basically to, to dumb it down is if you were gonna buy a house six months ago, because of the interest rates going up as much as they have, your interest rate will be 50% higher. So if, your interest, so if your mortgage payment every month would have been $2,000 six months ago for, for a house, for the same house today, if you were to borrow the same amount of money or whatever, you would be paying $3,000, right? 50% increase. But what does, also doesn't tell you, right, is that over the course of 30 years, the money that you're going to be paying on this percentage is crazy, crazy high, right? Like now you're not going to be expected to have a 6.3 mortgage rate, you know, throughout the entire uh, mortgage loan, right? You're not going to do that because you're eventually you're going to refinance, right? And you're going to, and it's always moving and then you're probably going to take a second and it's going to change, you know, the math a bunch of different ways. But for right now, basically, you know, it's it's awful situation for the real estate market. And for people who are like sort of have the money and they're ready to buy and they're sitting in the sidelines, it's a great opportunity because right now you're basically seeing the market crumble uh, in front of your eyes and you, you're gonna be able to come up in the next, you know, few months and buy anything you want, right? For a lot cheaper. The problem is that the rates are going to be higher, but that's okay. It's better to buy a house that is a lower price and have higher interest rates than to buy a house that's a high price and low interest rates uh, because um, you, you're basically borrowing on higher amount of money and it's never good. Property taxes go up, it's, it's you know, it's, and, and yeah, like you wanna be basically getting the, because you could always refinance, right? And that's the issue and then you could lower your payment. and and. and just trust me, you want to buy the house for the lowest price possible. Now, here's a, a, a quick side note is that right now, unfortunately, we have the worst case, which is high price and high mortgage rates, right? So that's why that's basically why everybody's saying and I'm saying that the housing market is completely crashing for that reason, because now we have less and less buyers. Now, let me show you this is uh, for Lardo. Okay, it's in South Florida. This is at the bottom of Florida. And as you can see, it's basically a concrete jungle from like West Palm Beach all the way down to Miami. And then you have the whole Everglades right here. And then the concrete jungle starts back in, you know, the uh, east, uh, west side. And here you have Orlando right here. So there's a lot of commerce in basically this area down here. And there's a lot of little cool little towns and you know, a lot of activities even in the Everglades. But anyways, Fort Lauderdale is the real deal, okay? It's a cool city, there's a lot of jobs, you got your airport, and it's nice, and it's expensive. Anything by the beach, I mean, if you ever drive by here, it's insane. Like, look, like, just check that out. 12 million bucks, okay? I just saw a 12 million dollar home. You wanna see what 12 million dollars gets you? Okay, let's see what 12 million gets you in Fort Lauderdale. Okay, uh, oh wow, how nice. 
That is really nice. Look at that. They have a hundred thousand dollar price cut. That thank you, man. So they had it at twelve million one hundred thousand. So they shaved off a hundred thousand. Thank you so much. We really uh, that was really a nice gesture. Six. I, I'm obviously I'm kidding. A hundred thousand on twelve million is like nothing. It's like a joke. Anyways, uh, six thousand square feet, six bedroom, seven bath. It's a freaking insane house right on the water. Again, twelve million bucks. That's a lot of money. Um, but this is like what Ferlario basically has to offer. Uh, who can afford a house like this? I mean. You know, you're looking at lawyers, big time, like, you know, uh, real estate developers, you know, real estate, um, commercial real estate people, bankers, you know, anyone in the entertainment industry, but like high end entertainment industry, basically anybody that's making, you know, $50,000 a week basically can live here, you know, uh, or more like you probably have to be making a month if you could make you know, two, three hundred thousand dollars a month, yeah, you can afford to live here. Because remember, you know, with twelve million dollar house comes a lot of other expenses, right? You can't just be cheap everywhere else and live in a twelve million dollar house. You're gonna need the boat, you're gonna need the drivers, you're gonna need, you know, the employees working that at the house. I mean it's a it's it's just a lot of money going out. But look where you get to live. Look at this insane house. Basically, you own this little corner right here. Um, all the neighbors are gonna know that you know you're you're the biggest, <laughs> you're the richest guy at that moment. Uh, but like I said, that's what you know. Let's get back to reality. So basically, this beachside area right here, very very expensive. But the reality is that most people are gonna live around here. Uh, let's see what we can find. Look at this. Wow, seven hundred thousand dollar price cut on a six million. Six million dollar home. That's pretty insane. Uh, there's definitely a lot of homes, and I'm seeing a lot of price cuts here. Let's just look at this. A hundred and thirty thousand dollar price cut on this. Uh, two hundred and fifty. Uh, two two point five million uh, dollars. Thirty four hundred square foot. Five bedroom, four bath. It's a massive house right on the water. It's sick, sick, sick. I actually like this house better than the last one uh, for eleven million. This looks, you know, again, 3,400 square foot is a big house, guys. It's not a small house. Got a sick ass pool, long ass boat dock. You could, could just just imagine what kind of boat you would want to put there. Um, look, it's in a really cool area. Remember, all these little channels too, they lead out to the water, right? So you could be in the ocean. Uh, you know, I don't know how long it would take, but yeah, no, this house is insanely sick. Uh, tile on the floor. You're gonna see tile in South Florida a lot because it keeps the house cooler. Remember, it is hot, 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 hot out there. It's. Um, I want to make a reference to a body part. It's hot as you fill in the blank. But yeah, um, the bigger the house, remember, the more the AC, the more the AC bill is gonna be. That's a that's a thing. When you look at that eleven million dollar house, it's like how much is it gonna cost to uh, keep the house cold, right? A lot. So here's a nice. Oh, this is a trailer, eighty five thousand dollars. I don't recommend you getting a trailer in South Florida because uh, you know there's a thing called hurricanes and uh, trailers uh, like to go flying during a hurricane. So definitely get something that is bolted onto the ground. Um, so I'm gonna skip that. Here's a. Here's a price cut, $10,000 off, 390, 1200 square foot, it's a tiny ass house, three bedroom, the bedrooms are gonna be really, really small. Uh, 390, I feel like it's a little bit expensive for 1200 square foot, but again, you know, uh, yeah, like I said, it's very small. The neighborhood looks kind of crummy. Look at this, look at, look at this, look at this, look at this. I'm gonna show you something. Okay, look at this car back here, all right? You're gonna buy a house for four hundred and ninety thousand dollars, and there's a car here that basically has flat tires. It's got a rusted roof. You know, it's a it's a it's a pile. What kind of neighbors do you think you're gonna have, right? When you see like this other car looks like it's got a hole and it's got a tarp on it. This is the stuff that you gotta look at. I, I like because sure you might love this house, but if you hate the neighbors, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I'm telling you, you're gonna be miserable, right? And I could tell you that if my neighbor 
had a tarp over his car, I wouldn't I wouldn't be happy here, right? I, I would be, and n now I look at the price, $390,000 for 1,200 square foot with a neighbor that has a rusted roof, uh, you know, car with, you know, with uh, flat tires on it. No thanks, like it's a hard pass. This is, um, I mean, <laughs> They're going to have to lower it a lot more. Man, I'm sorry, guys, but yeah, like for Lardo, you need a lot of bread to live here, guys. This is expensive. Look, here's $26,000 off, $599. Oh, geez, 1,100 square foot, 1,200 square foot, three bedroom to bath. This is going to be tiny ass bedrooms. This is a small house. It does have a pool. Here's the issue right here with the pool is that you kind of screw yourself because... If you wanted to make the house bigger, the pool kind of blocks it, unless maybe, I can't see because of these palm trees, but you can make the house, maybe get an extra bedroom out or whatever. But anyways, dude, $600,000, you know, 1,200 square foot is a small house. But looking at the house itself, again, tile floor, which is nice, keeps everything cool. Kitchen looks dope, looks nice. The house looks nice, I like it. Pool's insane. Um, it's actually a nice sized pool. It's a cool house. It's a small house. Here's what you get. And let's look at the neighborhood. Um, neighborhood looks, looks okay. Looks all right. You get a circular driveway, no sidewalks. Again, I don't know how much, you know, walking you do in Miami, uh, in Fort Lauderdale. It is sort of hot. Uh, here's downtown, sort of close to downtown, which means you're sort of close to the beach. This is nice. This is, oh, look, there's apartment complexes over here. There's a row of apartment complexes, looks like. So it's just something to look at, you know. I could tell because they're all sort of like the same roof. Again, you got to tour the neighborhood. You got to check out the school district. It makes a big deal. This house is nice, but I would want to see if the neighborhood is nice. Again, $600,000, I feel like it's a lot of money for, you know, 1,200 square foot. Uh, I don't like the prices here in Fort Lauderdale. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It just, it seems fairly ridiculous uh, for what you get. It seems like there's other places that can offer something uh, like a lot nicer um, for less money. Look at this. Here, let's look at this. This is 5,000 off, 460, 1,700 square foot, getting a little bit better. Two, three bedroom, two bath. Okay, so if you compare the last house, this is a, a lot bigger and about the same price. And look what you get. You get your own little beach, right? Now, you gotta make sure that there's no gators here. You know, you don't wanna be out here relaxing and then uh, you get a little nibble on your foot. But this is sick. This is sick, sick, sick. I got a feeling the house is gonna be, look, they have like no pictures of the house. Uh, inside, but this is nice. You get a one car garage. Uh, it's cute. It's cute. I, you know, 1700 square foot is not small. This is really, really nice. This, this is like a, in a way, if you have the money, this could be a gem. This is one that you could say, I don't care about the interest rates. I want to get into this house because the location might be awesome. Look at this nice kitchen, moving ready, decently priced, 1700 square foot. And again, you get a little beach. I mean, how many people have that, right? Uh, with a cool little deck, you get your little stand-up paddleboard. You go out. Look, you could have boats here. I bet you this leads to the ocean. Yeah, this is this is a, this is nice. Now the estimate is four sixty-two, so it's definitely about a hundred thousand dollars above asking. Um, so I don't know. I would I would offer. I don't know. I would offer freaking, I would offer 525, but they, I got a feeling they would tell you to go pound sand. That house is going to go. I could tell you it's cool. It's a really cool house. So there's some, again, there's price cuts, but you know, you want to live in Fort Lauderdale, you better have at least $500,000. Um, and you know, you're better off if you have a little bit more because uh, like this house, yeah, it's a big house, nice neighborhood, looks cool, looks clean. Um, Looks like a nice area, but yeah, it's eight hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. It is three thousand square foot, but again, it's nine hundred thousand dollars. It's a it's a huge house. Uh, again, keeping something like this cool, it's gonna get expensive. But with a pool, you know, you're gonna need some landscaping. You know, there's a lot going on here. This this could be a, a very expensive upkeep here for a house like this in general. But it's really, really nice. Don't get me wrong. If you could afford it, it's nice. Two-car garage. It's pretty sick. Uh, but wow, I mean, again, it's 
there's for Lauderdale is very, very expensive. I'm not even going to ch uh, check the condos. You guys could do that. I'm mean, looking at the 6 million bucks, $300,000 price cut. Look, let's finish it out with this house. This house looks pretty sick. Uh, right on the water, you basically get 7,000 square foot. Bigger than that last, the first house we saw, this house is insane. Look, uh, no, I don't remember which one was bigger, but again, this is 6.5 million. They shaved off 300,000. I would say they're semi motivated. You get your own putting green right here, or, you know, looks really nice. You could get, uh, you get to go paddle boarding. Look at that. That's insane. Again, it's really expensive guys. I mean, I don't even need to look at the inside. I, I, I get it. The hot, the, the pool's insane. Uh, so, I mean, it looks like you have to have a lot of money to live in Fort Lauderdale. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for all the comments. If you want me to do a video on a specific city or just check out a specific property, go ahead and comment down below and I will. And if you're new to my channel and you like my videos and you like what I have to say, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.